Hi, my name is Rajesh Pavitran and I am the CEO and founder of Boon Tech. Today we are going to talk about Ethereum accounts. We will describe the types of Ethereum accounts and their use. Ethereum has two types of accounts, externally owned accounts EOAs and contracted accounts. Externally owned accounts or EOAs. Externally owned accounts or EOAs are the accounts which are owned and controlled by the users. Each EOA has an Ether balance associated with it. EOAs, EOAs do not have any associated code. All transactions on the Ethereum networks are in, initiated by EOAs. These accounts can send transactions to either EOAs or contract accounts. Contract account. Contract account. Contract accounts are controlled by the associated contract code which is stored within the account. Each contract account has an Ether balance associated with it. The contract code execution is triggered by transactions sent by EOAs or messages sent by other contracts. Key pairs. Each externally owned account EOAs has a public-private key pair associated with it. The account address is derived from the public key when a new EOA is created, a JSON key file is created which has the public and private keys associated with the account. The private key is encrypted with the password which is provided while creating the account. For sending transactions to other accounts, the private key and the account password are required. These key files are stored in key store directory to encode the private key. First, a key der derivation function KDF is used to generate a derived key. The, supporters KDF, the supported KDFs include PBKDF2 and script mentions as in as KDF in the JSON file. The KDF parameter, parameters field in the JSON file list is the KDF dependent statistic and dynamic static and dynamic parameters. The account password is passed to the KDF along with the key, key params derived by uh, key key value and KDF pair. The crypto algorithm used for these key files is AES 128CTR mentioned as C decipher in JSON file. The cipher uh, include a 128-bit vector for the, ch the chapter. The, the cipher text computed by passing the private key, priv encryption key, and <coughs> cipher params to the encryption function of the cipher. The field is computed by talking by taking the SHA3 hash of the second leftmost 16 bits of the derived key, key concatenated with the dice, decipher text. To decode the private key from the JSON file, the above steps are reversed. The, the derived key is compared by passing the password and the KDF params pa passed from the JSON file to the KDF evaluation function. The encryption key is the leftmost 16 bytes of the derived key. The cipher text parsed from the JSON file is decoded by passing the cipher text, ENC key, and decipher parameters to the cipher uh, en encryption function. Next, the MAC provided in the JSON file is compiled with a locally computed MAC. If the MAC values do not match, the user is requested for an alternative password. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please comment, subscribe and like. Thank you very much.